cozy season is here and Hallmark's countdown to Christmas is in full swing. So I'm here to share with you the movies that I have watched that I definitely think that you should watch. It was the day before Christmas was literally the first movie of the countdown to Christmas 2024 season. And I think it really pulled itself off. I thought it was great. It is very family oriented. It was fun. There's all these activities and challenges and it is a blind date movie. So our heroine and hero do not know each other when the movie starts. She just does not want to go home to her family without her boyfriend. So she sets up this blind date and it is essentially like them pretending to be in a relationship to her family. And they Holiday Crashers was next. And guys, this is top three, one of my favorites so far from this season. It was so much fun. It is basically two best friends that come to this agreement that they are going to crash all of these holiday parties that they learn about. Even the stunning Tamara Mowry and Carlo Marx could not pull off this next one, which was Scouting for Christmas. It was so underwhelming. I was into it. I love a single mom story, but it just got to this point where I was like, I am going to skim the rest of it and just go to the kiss at the end. Croatian Nutcracker is one that I think you could record and maybe come to like later on, especially like that week of Christmas when things kind of start to die down and there aren't any more premieres. It's a very basic plot line, but it is one that I think is interesting to sit and watch. It's a lost item type of story and literally the hero and heroine cross paths with their way to find it like over and over in the movie. Christmas charade, absolutely watch. I loved it. Five Year Christmas Party is literally adorable. It catches a lot of hate from like the older Hallmark demographic that does not want to see these new Hallmark actors, but I personally love it. I Our Holiday Story has the gorgeous Nikki Deloche. Love her. This is another one that I think what you should do is record it and save it for later on in the season when everybody's done premiering their new movies and there's nothing new coming out. Save this one for then. It is a fun premise of like parents recounting how they met and fell in love with the boyfriend of their daughter. This time each year is such a heartwarming story. I think this one came on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries and I definitely think it is worth a watch. It is a marriage in trouble type of romance. The couple is already separated, but the heroine has not told her mother that. So she asks the hero who has already had like a past with lying to her. She asks him to lie to her mom and pretend that everything is still okay. And it's just this really beautiful story of like rediscovery and like reconnecting and I really enjoyed it, but I get it. If Marriage in Trouble is not your favorite trope to read or to watch, um, definitely skip this one. But if it's something that you're open to, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful story. And lastly, out of the ones that I have watched so far is Five Gold Rings. I literally just watched this one today. It's the reason why I hopped on here. I was like, you know what? You need to go talk about these movies. It's a new favorite for me. This is another one I pretty sure it came on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. It is another one of those like stories of tracking down the owners of lost items and the heroine comes back to her small town in Minnesota from Manhattan and it is her romance with the private investigator who she already has like a not really a past with but they know each other. Um, their romance through like just searching down the owners of these items together and I don't know. It's really simple. It's really basic. It, there's nothing groundbreaking to this movie, but it was so cozy, so wholesome, so romantic at the same time. Like I really loved it. It is definitely another one in my top three um, to watch. So report back. The more that I continue to watch these movies, Up TV is about to start premiering theirs. Lifetime tends to start premiering theirs in November. So I will definitely report back. If you have watched anything that you enjoy, please let me know. Let me know where I can watch it and I will chat with you guys later. Bye guys.